Oh, yep. Hello, friends. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> this is our campsite. Um, Sam is over here by the fire, making a beautiful fire. Say hello to the vlog. G'day guys, Sam here. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. <laughs> We've set up here for the night. The hammock is all set up. We have a big, big campsite and there's another campsite over there that nobody's sleeping at. So we basically have two campsites to ourselves, which is pretty nice. Tell you what, getting <laughs> Tell you what, getting here was um interesting. So when we're portage when when Alex says portage it means carrying the canoe. Because basically this is this whole park, Algonquin Park, is just a bunch of lakes and islands and stuff. So you yeah, we, we were paddling for like three hours. Um and in the middle was like a little land bridge sort of thing. So you take your stuff off, you put the canoe on your back and you carry it just from water to water pretty much. Although we had one unexpected, um, well, it was unexpected for me, little road bump, which was a, a full blown beaver dam, which was um, blocking the river. Right guys, we have a beaver dam in front of us blocking the way. So we're just gonna full send and just see if we can boost ourselves up and over it. Here we go. Well, okay, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Come on. Yes. Come, come on, come on, feel it. I feel it. We're good. Oh. Paddle. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, we're good. It was impressive. It's pretty wicked that beavers just do that. <laughs> we're running a bit low on wood, so Sam's going to get some firewood. Oh. oh, I reckon this should be good. Horse tree. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Too easy. So this is what happens when you have a really long piece of wood, but you don't have a saw. <laughs> We're just gonna keep shuffling it sideways until eventually the, actually we're, we're gonna go to bed before this burns up, but now we have a good, fairly steady supply of wood. Innovation. Innovation, Kiwi, Kiwi ingenuity. I'm Canadian. Oh, that was my idea. <laughs> oh, well, no. I said the food barrel. Yeah, okay. We have to put all our food in this barrel because bears and raccoons. And I think before we go to bed, we have to put the barrel of food in the canoe and then tie the canoe to a rope and push it out to the ocean, the, 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 ocean. the lake. <laughs> no, we can't reach the ocean from here. <laughs> we need a long rope. <laughs> Your one looks old and decrepit. Well, let me get the groom cracker. It's look good. Look at this. My one looks so no, nice. Look at half. Uh, yeah, on that side, but half of yeah, his. No, I only show that side to the camera. <laughs> Give me the groom cracker. Okay, yeah, we're making s'mores, guys. It's very North American. Very North American. <laughs> oh, look at you all like a burn it. It's not burnt, it's perfect. Update. S'mores are good. <laughs> a bit hanging off your lip. <laughs> okay, guys, we will see you tomorrow. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. So, Alex is currently making us breakfast, and the breakfast is a Canadian delicacy <laughs> called fried G, or fried granola. Would you like to tell us the ingredients? Um, a crap ton of butter, granola, or I mean just oats. Uh, usually use brown sugar, but we're using maple syrup because we forgot the brown sugar. And then you add chocolate chips in right at the end. And that's literally it. It's literally just oats, just raw oats, and just butter and as much sugar as you can fathom. 
and we give it we gave it to the kids at the summer camp when we took them on canoe trips like overnight trips and you have to eat it with water because the oats expand in your stomach yeah because otherwise you'll eat a whole bunch and then drink water and then explode yep yeah. so but it's literally just sugar and oats it's awesome Right, well, we've been paddling for a bit. Only about an hour, not too far. Yesterday we paddled for like three and a half hours. Anyway, we've uh, gotten to a little bit where we've dumped the canoe and uh, we're just carrying all our stuff. It's only like a K and a half, not even, nah, it's like 1.2 Ks or something. Um, just a little update on the vlog. Sam has gone to take a bush poo. So I thought I would update. We made it to our little, uh, Port, or the end of our portage, Burnt Island, and it wasn't that bad, honestly. Uh, it was pretty chill. Now we have to go back the one point whatever kilometers, grab our canoe and our food barrel, and then head all the way back. So it'll be a good little hike for today, but we're camping on this lake tonight, so it will uh, won't be that bad, but yeah. All right, Alex is on a mission. I've got the easy stuff and we've got music playing now as motivation. Look, she's going one handed. What a show off. <laughs> Woo! Alrighty. We're at our second campsite. Um, it's a wicked little place. We got the whole place to ourselves, we got here. This is really early in the season. The park like opened for people like last like four days, five days ago. So no one's really been at these sites, which is nice. Like we got a whole look at this whole setup. Big like fire pit sort of thing with the big wind barrier sort of thing. Bunch of stalls. Heaps of places to set up the tent. We've chosen there because it's the flattest. And yeah, no, wicked little spot to tie up the canoe and whatnot. It's bloody choice. So, Alex and I have just been canoeing up this lake and we've got into the head of the lake and there's all these salmon here. Migrating up the river. Check this out. Um, editing Sam here. Turns out those fish aren't salmon. Um, <laughs> I don't actually think there's any salmon in Ontario. Or you just saw them swimming up the river. We're like, oh, they're salmon. Turns out they're actually a much less attractive sounding fish they're called the white sucker there you go that's what they look like so there you go guys unfortunately they're not salmon they're not even trout they're they're just like a type of catfish minnow sort of thing called a white sucker the more you know listen to those frogs Yep, the rain came in, so um, thankfully the tent was waterproof, apart from something at the bottom. It's got a little puddle here, but it's not too bad. <laughs> Alex, is, Alex is awake now. You should have seen her 10 minutes ago, my goodness. I would have been decapitated if I got the camera out then. Well, it is 
absolutely pissing down now and we timed it pretty well we the tent is no longer we took the tent down while it wasn't raining we totally thought it was just going to be like a cloudy canoe back and we were pretty much just getting ready to take the tarp down and then put our stuff in the canoe and go and then it just absolutely started pelting down and uh, so now we're just like waiting here in this little hobo shelter um and just hoping that the rain will let off eventually all right the weather is not exactly pissing down right now so we're gonna make the most of it while we can and get out on the water and hope we don't get struck by lightning You know, you spend so much time trying not to get wet when it's raining like this and then you get to the point where you've just paddled through the middle of a lake in the pissing rain for about an hour and then you just kind of give up and just decide to enjoy it instead. That's where we're at right now and I think that has some sort of meaningful life advice in there somewhere. Uh oh. Okay, you have to look for rocks. Yeah, yeah, okay. Big one there. Yeah, we're going around it. Kind of. To the le left, left, left. No, we're. Fish, salmon! Look at all the fish! Look at them all! temporarily gotten stuck on rock but we're okay now <laughs> Wow more ducks It's May right now these ducks are lucky that they're not in New Zealand otherwise we'd be getting shot <laughs> oh, We're making it guys we have one kilometre and then a portage, one last portage, and then five k's of paddling, and then we're done. You know what I said before about how here it's so wet you just kind of give up and start enjoying it instead? I take it all back, this shit sucks. <laughs> okay, last portage over. Now, time for a 5k paddle, and then we're done. Let's go! Stop laughing. I thought it would look cool on the camera, but I'm literally just doing this. That's not working very well. Okay, let's go. One eternity later. <sighs> Okay. Yes. Let's go. Oh, we made it. All right. Okay. Woo. Return of the man. Get it what it is, what it does, what it is, what it is. In. Looking for a better way to get a better, better city girl. We made it. Oh. Okay. Get out. Oh, okay. Can I just like it? <laughs>